Yeah, this T is just to the right and behind the first green. You can see that in your left side of your screen. Harold's got plenty of length here to reach. Even though 518 yards, it plays a little longer when it's cool like this, probably an extra 10%, but that is a very good tee shot. Left edge of the fairway. Good angle to get to this right middle hole location. Well, just a little bit below his feet, which will help move this left to right, but that's struck nicely. And if that gets a little right, this could be really good. Carney, it landed between the bunker and the green and the rough and stopped it. That took one hop. It's right up against the hole. Pretty straightforward pitch coming up, though, for Harold Varner. Kind of like this. Easy. Nice touch from Varner. Varner, a little work left for his birdie, but not much. That's right where you want it. You got to leave it underneath the hole on every hole down here. Harold Varner, the third, on the third. And Carney, always tough to get the sight lines here. And this one looks pretty good, just kind of right down the middle and then should turn over a little left. Perfect. Oh, massive bounce. In the mayor's office, as they say. Where the wind hasn't been blown, but Harold also a great angle. Got to be careful to spin here with this wedge, though. Uh, this needs to get up a little bit. Okay. Oh, Carney, he was able to take the spin off it. I think uh, you, you mentioned, Carney, the spin. That's one of the biggest challenges here. There's a little push off the left bunker that possibly could even make this go right. Wow, that was in with confidence. All of a sudden, Harold Varner in our featured group. Yeah, I didn't realize till Harold talked, Carney, he had not been here since the first tee, which is a champions, PJ Champions event where you play with a pro, and he's happy to be back here. And this way left of the fairway, but now turning back, and that's going to be perfect yeah. as well. Yeah. <laughs> oh, Harold's talking to him, please go right. <laughs> with that back right hole location, if you miss this, it's got to be left. This starts up the right, now turning left. It gets a kick. It should be good. Oh, we got a great kick, Carney. And it's still going, still getting better. That is absolutely perfect. That was a good read, Karn, and that's, uh, you know, you'd love it to go in, but that's a stress-free birdie, three under after six. That's just what you dialed up right there where you're having breakfast. One player in the amateur world. Up the 11th for Varner. Yeah, this is going to be perfect. Varner from a perfect spot, Karn. Well, this green's receptive, so you got to believe this is going to go past the hole and maybe spin back a little bit. Yeah, that one's going to turn out okay as long as it doesn't spin too much. Well, it's actually working back just above hole high. It's not a bad spot. It's going to have a little bit of left to right break. He's going to start this to the left side and just kind of let it drip to the right. Harold Varner, four under par. Yeah, that's really good. Really good below the hole. That's very makeable. Another chance to bounce back here, grab that one he lost on the difficult 12th with a birdie here on 13. Those are the ones you like to have at Pebble Beach, Mark. Up the hill. No question, Billy. So important uh, that where you are on the green as opposed to how far it is, and that's a great bounce back. The one lone boat on 12, which isn't that hard to do. One of the harder holes in the golf course. Harold Varner playing the 15th. Well, this is another good-looking tee shot. A little down breeze. 
Boy, that ball traveled a long way in the air. And Billy, it's traveling a long way, still moving on the fairway, still rolling. Is that on that down grain part? Yes, it is. I mean, yes, it is. One hop and stop. Yeah, this, is, the lead. this is the one you want, straight up the hill, inside the hole. He got it. Billy, he's putted those. He's hit the ball. His proximity to the hole, Ned and I were talking, is probably, I don't know if anybody better at Pebble Beach today.